Sean Mendes is a Canadian singer, songwriter, part-time model, and all-around handsome guy. While Sean reportedly has a place in Toronto, he spends most of his time in Los Angeles these days, shacked up with his other half, Camila Cabello. For that reason, we'll be looking at what we know about his Toronto home and where he lives with his girl. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sean first gained worldwide attention after joining the video sharing app Vine in 2013 and posting different song covers that showed off his wide range of talent when it came to vocals. He was then able to parlay that social media fame into worldwide attention, releasing multiple albums and getting nominated for all types of Grammys. Over the last two years, he's earned close to $90 million, largely stemming from his 2019 world tour and has amassed a net worth estimated to be in the $40 million range. Thankfully, he was able to get that tour in right before the entire world shut down and concerts became a thing of the past. It wasn't too long after Sean returned to his apartment in Toronto that the shelter at home orders came down thanks to the pandemic. And while Sean definitely has a nice place to stay in his native Toronto, he's decided that at times like these, he'd rather rather be with the people he loves the most, in this case, his girlfriend Camila. Camila owns a fabulous place in Los Angeles that Sean has been sheltering at alongside her and house sitting for her while she's been away filming a movie in Europe. How's it going guys and girls? It's Kara here for you with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at the few of the places that Sean Mendes calls home. As I mentioned off the top, Sean has his own condo apartment in the heart of downtown Toronto, but he's also been taking care of Camila's place in Los Angeles, so today I'm going to let you know what both homes are like and I have a couple surprises along the way. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up but we're the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Be sure to let me know what you think about Sean's homes in the comments down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Alright, let's get into this video. becoming famous while still in his mid-teens, it took Sean a little while to strike out on his own, but when he did, he bought himself a condo in the heart of downtown Toronto. Now anyone who's ever lived downtown in a big city knows that what you're paying for when you buy a place isn't so much the square footage. That's going to be small no matter what, especially with a starter condo. What you're really paying for is the view, and at least in that regard, Sean struck it rich. Sean actually provided that pic of his place himself while chatting with some of his fans on Twitter. He was asked, how cozy is your apartment right now on a scale of 1 to 10. And he responded with that photographic proof. So what do you guys think? Cozy, yay or nay? Let's take a quick look around the room and try to determine. In the corner of the room, Sean has his guitar perched on an armchair so that it's always available for quick access when the mood strikes, which I assume with him is often. He's also got the mood lighting cranked up to 11 with that soft lighting coming from the ceiling and then the serene ambiance of the strategically placed candles at different areas of the room. His coffee table is about as neat and orderly as they come with its stack of magazines, a tabletop plant and the finishing touch of a fruit bowl. What do you guys guys think real fruit or fake? Looks like real bananas to me, but Sean's gonna want to stay on top of those. That's how you get ants. Or worse, fruit flies. I hate fruit flies. Finally, off this side is his wall-mounted widescreen television and a cabinet underneath that houses his entertainment system. I know this is really only one room, so it's tough to judge the rest of his home solely off this, but all it takes is a quick glance at this place to figure out that Sean has got it looking perfect. I give it full marks. 10 out of 10 for comfort. But no matter how cozy that place looks, the first and most prominent thing you're gonna notice is that jaw-dropping view through the floor-to-ceiling windows displaying that glittery Toronto skyline. You can grab an amazing view of the CN Tower right from his massive L-shaped couch, and that's even more evident from these quick snippets he shared on Instagram. Wanna see my house? It's really dark in here. Thanks to that last clip, we also now know that his kitchen is directly across from his living room with its chandelier lighting and separated by what looks like a decent sized wooden dining room table. Unfortunately, Sean must like to lounge around in the dark because that's about all we can infer from that clip. Let's hope he knows his way around that place with his eyes closed and he doesn't bump his toes into anything. Both Sean and Camila recently appeared on One World Together at Home, a primetime special that raised awareness for the worldwide pandemic. They performed a duet of the song What a Wonderful World, seated at a grand piano in a room full of some great ambiance. It's 
kind of difficult to tell whose place that is, but there's no doubt that their decor is on point with some fantastic pieces of art hanging on the walls. The only giveaway I can find is that much like with the previous photo, Sean has candles set up all around the room, so I'm gonna go off on a limb and guess that they're inside his place. Now before we head off to check out Camila's home, I wanted to give you guys one little surprise. While I was in the process of making this video, I got tipped off by a friend that knows the building where Sean's condo is located, so I thought I'd head down there and give you guys a taste of what it looks like on the outside. Alright, Kara was supposed to film this part of the video, but I am passing the area. It's not far from where we live actually. So when I moved to Toronto, I don't know, I can't confirm this, but everyone said that this is where your man Sean Mendez lived. So let's, I'll show you guys. Up there, in that place, it was actually the purple windows, people said. I can't, you know, I can't confirm, but that's what everyone said, one of them. And if this is his building, it turns out he's my neighbor. Now, even though Sean's from Canada, it's decidedly not where he's been spending most of his time during lockdown. In fact, he's actually been checking up with Camila at different spots around the southern United States. At first, it was reported that he joined her and her family at their home in Miami, Florida. Where, where are you right now? Um, I'm at my girlfriend's house in Miami. And while I don't have any extra information to give you all about what her family's place is like, that's okay because they didn't stay there for long anyway before heading back to Los Angeles and battering down the hatches at Camila's Los Angeles mansion. Camila purchased this home located in the Hollywood Hills in May of 2019 for a reported $3.3 million from Bollywood actor Uday Chopra. It's a 3,500 square foot Mediterranean style villa with four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a very open floor plan. The mansion was originally built in 1977, but has undergone a series of remodeling since then. Most of the front facade is covered behind tall ficus trees, achieving the same sense of privacy that most celebrities covet. And just in case that isn't enough, a gated and camera monitored courtyard stands between the occupants and anyone walking by on the streets. Through the glass front door is an entrance foyer that sports sand colored tile floors, while the nearby sunken family room has an ornate fireplace and ebony colored hardwood floors. Not far from there is the formal dining room, which is affixed to a recently renovated kitchen with fancy stainless steel appliances, bar style seating, and some, well, let's just call them geometrical light fixtures. You can access the backyard through floor to ceiling glass sliders that fold away and seamlessly blend the outdoors with inside and help provide a punch to what otherwise might seem like a cramped backyard space. And while the backyard might be small, Camila hasn't spared any expense when it comes to decking it out. She's got a fire pit, a separate fireplace lounge, a saltwater plunge pool, and an alfresco dining dining area. The entire backyard is also surrounded by high walls and leafy hedges to keep any prying eyes out. Meanwhile, all the bedrooms upstairs are en suites and the master bedroom has its own fireplace, hardwood floors, his and her sinks, and a soaking tub. Despite only having been together for about a year and a half now, Sean and Camila are practically joined at the hip. Not only has he followed her around from place to place, ensuring that they remain isolated together, he's also house sat for Camila when she's had to travel overseas to work, like her most recent role in the upcoming version of Cinderella. Speaking with the Kyle and Jackie O show, he told them, I don't have a house in LA, I live in Canada, so I'm house watching. I just basically use the utilities and sleep in the bed. That's really my version of house sitting. Sean and Camila have been without one another for close to two months now and he can't wait to have her back. Well, I'm lucky she's coming back tomorrow. I haven't seen her in like a month and a half, so oh I'm my super God. excited. You're going to lock down, then no one will hear from you for a month after that. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he also mentioned that what he likes to do to feel at ease when Camila isn't home with him is throw on some Latin music in the background. He has no idea what's being said in the songs, but Camila does, and that feeling puts him at ease. If you ask me, that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, I think we're going to bring this house tour to an end right here. What did you guys think about the different places that Sean Mendes has been spending his time under lockdown? Would you rather be sheltering at his condo in Toronto or at Camila's place in Los Angeles? All right, that's probably a pretty easy question to answer, but just remember guys, you aren't gonna get views like the Toronto skyline from Hollywood Hills. But yeah, the weather, I get it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to let me know what you thought. Seriously, I love hearing from you guys on there, so hit me up. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.